there are many amazing things I might see in a typical storm chase. Then again, I've also had days where I never even pulled my camera out of the bag. And there are some things just rare enough that an average chaser like myself may go years without seeing. But one spring afternoon in Kansas had it all. Traveling through Western Colorado on this Thursday, May 21st, 2020. And I'm really getting sick and tired of the 2020 part right now. <laughs> when you just go into a day, you know you're going to chase something and you just know there's not going to be tornadoes. You're just like, what am I doing? You know, okay, yeah, I've seen some cool stuff in the last couple of weeks. I'll probably see some cool stuff today. Usually you see the cool stuff anyway if you're chasing for tornadoes. So it's okay. <laughs> you're going to get both. It's just kind of like going to a really fancy, expensive restaurant and only eating a chicken salad or something. I'm going to try and keep my spirits high and just be there, you know, just be there. But this today kicks off probably a four or five day chase. So, you know, there's plenty more opportunities for things to downtrend on me. <laughs> All right. Wish me luck. Some days just feel like a chase day. It's kind of tough to describe, and you kind of have to do it for a few years to really appreciate that feeling. Watching clouds gather on the horizon, a hot, humid breeze to your back, the smell of sunscreen, and random landspout reports. No attendant updraft, so it's got to be like dusty. I saw a couple myself. Not so sure these aren't just cars driving down dirt roads, could be, to be honest. Uh, dirt road over there, there's just cars flying. Trying to decide which newly formed storm to target, the answer came in the form of a tornado report in Holly, Colorado, just a few miles away. So after a few minutes drive, I'm greeted with a newly forming rotating wall cloud on the same storm. It seemed mere seconds away from producing a properly condensed tornado. A dust world directly below a brief funnel would be all I'd get. Repositioning ahead of the storm, it became outflow dominant. And I captured the moment this classic supercell thunderstorm transitioned to become part of a mesoscale convective system with a shelf cloud and a green glow. Normally this would be a sign that a storm chase is pretty much over, and certainly I believe that in this moment. But in 2020, the year real tornadoes on the plains appear to have gone extinct, you might as well stick with it to the end. While not particularly rare, this gusnado was quite dark and ominous. Wow, that even looks like a ball cloud over it. <laughs> it's called this because they tend to form in areas where you might see a tornado, and they might even appear to rotate. But a tornado is just not going to happen in this outflow dominant storm. Now this scene is just crazy to me. To the west, tail end Charlie of this complex was producing a gusnado. A well-defined shelf cloud to the north. A supercell thunderstorm that would produce a nearly invisible tornado 
deep within its precipitation core to the northeast. And to the southeast, a sculpted low precipitation supercell and a new supercell to the south. The latter one would become the next target. While the distant LP supercell would slowly dissipate, the new one just to my south, with some tornado potential, would have a good hour or so before the convective system to the north ran over it. it would put on an incredible lightning display. But the inevitable crash with the incoming MCS was about to fold. This is something I don't recall ever seeing before. A sculpted shelf cloud folding into an incoming supercell even making it appear to spin in reverse. But I can't be in two places at once. Check out Michael Snyder's time lapse from just the other side. Again, the entire scene was just outstanding with a bright sunset emerging from underneath the shelf cloud to the northwest. At this point, the merging supercell appeared to have an ominous lowering. It's time to get much closer to see if it has the guts. An impressive funnel appeared below the remnant supercell interacting with the incoming squall line from the north. Oh yeah! a little bit of video. <laughs> it's not moving anywhere, is it? Oh, it's not touching down yet. There would be no tornado here, but boy, did we get close. This storm complex would rage on through the evening, so I stepped back and took some photos over these storms from down in the Texas Panhandle. And of course, there were numerous sprites. If fully condensed tornadoes were the kitchen sink, then May 21st, 2020's complex of storms in southwest Kansas gave us everything but the kitchen sink. Even if tornadoes on the plains were few and far between in 2020, there's still plenty to see if you just get out there. <laughs>